Deborah, what was heard in court? Yes, Ashley. Well, as you said there, Lisa Smith was found guilty in May by the non-jury special criminal court of membership of the unlawful terrorist organisation IS. Now, the 40-year-old had pleaded not guilty to IS membership between 2015 and 2019, but the special criminal court in its judgment in May found that the former soldier travelled to Syria with her eyes wide open and pledged allegiance to the organisation led by terrorist leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and that there was no benign explanation for her travel. Lisa Smith had also pleaded not guilty to financing terrorism by sending €800 Euro to a named, named man in May 2015 but of this charge she was acquitted. Now the court today heard lengthy submissions from her lawyer and senior counsel Michael O'Higgins uh, submitted that what emerged in reports which were today handed into the court was a picture of an extremely vulnerable person he said with a long history of psychological and mental health issues. He referred to at length today the conditions that Lisa Smith lived in when she lived in two camps in Syria. He said that these were appalling, extremely frightening, particularly for a mother there with her child. And he said today that she spent two years in those prison camps in dire circumstances. He said this was time served that would have been much worse than any EU prison could ever be. And with regard to those camps in Syria, he said that this should offset against any potential custody in this jurisdiction. He also spoke today about the effects of sending uh, potentially the mother of one to prison, the effects of this would have on her child. We heard today that Lisa Smith was someone with no previous convictions and her lawyer submitted that she fully cooperated with Gardaí in this case. Uh, the maximum sentence for this offence, the non-jury special criminal court, is one of eight years in prison. But Lisa Smith's lawyers asked the court to impose a fully suspended suspended sentence in this case. Mr Justice Tony Hunt said today that there was a degree of novelty in relation to this case. It's not one that the Special Criminal Court has seen before. He said the court would need some time to consider all the submissions made in this case and he remanded Lisa Smith on continuing bail to be sentenced next Friday, July 22nd. Okay, Deborah, thank you very much.